Hello again, it's Jess or Jessy Corinne, and welcome back for another weekly plan with me video. In today's video, I'm going to be setting up for week 6, 2019, which is February 4th through to the 10th. But before we get into that, as per usual, we're just going to have a look at how this week was going. So as you'll remember from my last weekly plan with me, this was the setup I was using for this week. So I had my lessons and events down the side here, along with some day specific tasks and then just a running to-do list on this page here. I've been enjoying this one quite a lot, it's given me a lot of space to write down the things that I need to do. And although I still have a lot of space at the moment, I know this is going to be really full by the end of the week. At the time of me filming this, it's actually Wednesday, because on Thursday evening I'm going to be having a parent evening. I'd like to apologise for any background noise you can hear as well. At the moment in Wellington it's really, really warm, so I have most of the windows in the house open just to try and keep myself a little bit cooler. Before we jump into the time lapse, just a reminder that any of the equipment I use in today's setup will be linked in the description box below. So I wanted to keep today's setup super simple, so really this one actually only took me about 10 minutes to set up total. For that reason, the time lapse that I have today is actually only two times my normal speed. The nice part of this is that you guys can kind of see how long it would take me to do each of the parts of my setup. I always find that those calligraphy videos especially are really misleading in how long it takes people to do that beautiful lettering. Because they've sped the video up, it makes my lettering feel really inadequate and as though I'm doing it quite wrong when I'm taking such a long amount of time just to make one letter. For this setup I started by laying down some washi tape, which is from a watercolour collection, and I thought that was kind of suitable for the ocean theme that I have in February. To match this colour I'm using Tombow Colour 373, which is this pretty green kind of teal colour, and that's going to make up the header for each of the section on my page. To start with I put down a mini calendar in the top left hand of the left hand page, and I just used my Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pen, as per usual, to write down the black text. You may have noticed that when I write out my mini calendars, I usually number through to day 7, and then underneath that I put down 14, 21, and 28. I tend to do this just so that then if I accidentally skip a number, I have some kind of guidance when it comes to the rest of the numbers in that mini calendar. Although I do actually forget to fill it in in this video, that last column on the rightmost of the mini calendar is going to be used for the week number. So starting with 5 for this week, and then 6, 7, 8, and 9. For this setup I wanted to do something quite similar to what I have this week, that idea of having all of my events on one page, or the day specific tasks on that one page, and then everything on the other side just being a running to-do list. To make sure that I gave each of the sections roughly the same amount of space, I'm just using my ruler and pencil to make some rough guidelines. For Tuesday through to Sunday, each of the spaces is 4 centimetres down, and then 12 boxes across, or 6 centimetres across. Because speed was the aim of the game today, you'll see I'm not using my regular washi tape borders, I'm just going in with the pen straight off the bat. The nice thing about this is that I feel it fits the ocean theme better having not so many rigid lines. Everything's a little bit more freeform. To make the lettering in each of those headers look kind of uniform, I make sure only to put one letter in each of the boxes. This does mean that my lettering is a little bit more spaced out than the way that I normally write it, but it does make it look a lot neater. For the header on the right page, I'm just using the same technique, putting down that Tombow colour, and then over the top of that I'm going to write down To Do and Notes. To balance out the other page, I also run some washi tape along the bottom of that one as well. Alrighty, and that's where we're going to leave it for today. 
So a really simple setup today, half because it's incredibly hot, and also because I know I'm again going to have a lot of things to do, and not really so many day specific tasks. So I have my mini calendar, a section for each day of the week, and then this large section for notes and to-do list. Thank you for watching this shorter than usual video. If you had any thoughts, comments or feels, please do leave them in the comments section below. And I'll be back again on Sunday with a video on spreads for high school students. Until next time, bye!